In this session, uh, I'll present the drifting goals archetype. The structure begins, part of it is a simple balancing loop where there's a difference between what I want and what I have, and that difference creates a gap, which is, represents a tension. And I resolve that tension by action taken to move what I have in the direction of what I want. Though, depending upon how long this takes and, and the level of patience I have in, in attempting to, to get what I want, I may, in fact, be in a position where to resolve this tension, I use this other balancing loop, which is what I have being the goal and what I want being the objective. And this other balancing loop attempts to move what I want in the direction of what I have, as opposed to the way the other balancing loop moved what I have in the direction of what I want. So that this tension creates a pressure to settle for less and with some delay, typically less than the delay it takes to, to turn what I have into what I want, it actually diminishes what I want. So I end up being willing to, to settle for less if, if I'm impatient. You know, I mean, it's the idea of, you know, we set off with a New Year's resolution to, to lose 20 pounds and and the first five pounds comes off really easy, and then I sort of end up on a plateau, and I go on for days or weeks, and, and I'm not making any progress. And finally, the the tension between where I am and the other 15 pounds that I wanted to lose is is so overwhelming that I simply decide that, well, five pounds maybe was enough, and we can leave it at that. So it's the, the difference between how long it takes... That's why this delay is in here, to, to move what I have in the direction of what I want, which may take days, weeks, months, or years. And the alternative is the other balancing loop, which attempts to move what I want in the direction of what I have, so that that pressure to settle for less, which it's much easier to settle for less than it is to create more, typically, so if I'm really impatient and unable to deal with the tension that exists here, it's real easy to resolve simply by settling for less. Now, if we implement this as a, as a simulation stock and flow structure, it's the, the same thing except that I've added a percentage change factor to indicate the extent to which the tension actually adds to the action. That's this part and the extent to which the tension actually adds to goal reduction, which is this pressure aspect over here. So if I start this out with the goal change factor set at zero, I end up with the typical balancing loop behavior, which is this is the goal, this is the current state which migrates toward the goal as the, as the action declines and the tension declines. Though notice that in this particular situation it takes about 20 weeks to turn the current state into the desired state, which may be extremely way too long. But we're using a, a percentage change factor here of, of 0.2 so that, that the tension isn't attempting to be resolved all at once. It's saying that, that Whatever action it takes to turn the current state into the desired state takes takes a period of time. It's not something that happens over a weekend. Now, if we alter this, alter the parameters, and change this and say that that the tension does perform some amount of change on the desired state, we can see that the goal declines over time as the current state is migrating toward the desired state so that the the action causes the tension to decline but there's a there's amount of goal reduction that's happening over time which is causing the goal to decline so it's actually taking less time to to get to the goal because i'm willing to settle for less the initial goal was 1 and now it's 0.8 and as i've said before i i find it very beneficial to 
build the archetypes and interact with them in a very generic form so that I can pay more attention to the relationships as opposed to what the relationships represent. It's, a, it's just a very generic form. And then for any particular situation, you change the, the labels and the values and it then becomes a, a specific implementation of a drifting goal structure. Now, if I go ahead and, and alter this again and change the percent change factor to 0.5, it says that, that I'm approaching the goal, the amount of activity, the action resulting from the tension is much larger and therefore I approach the goal much quicker so there isn't as much time for it to to delay or drift over time. So what this points out is that it's apparent that the goal drifts and it depends upon the time that it takes so that if I can do this faster, there's less opportunity for it to drift. In terms of a strategy, there's essentially two strategies to deal with this structure. I can figure out how to disconnect this pressure to settle for less from, from what I want so that the goal can't drift. And, and the second one, which I pointed out just a moment ago, is to figure out how to increase this, this rate of movement of what I have in the direction of what I want so that there isn't the opportunity for it to drift. Now, the viability of either one of these two options depends upon the, the actual physical constraints of, of whatever the actual situation is. And you have to evaluate that when you run into it, though those are the, t the two options to consider when you realize that, that you're dealing with this type of structure. And if, if I go back to the, to the um, New Year's resolution to lose weight, you know, why is it that uh, things like Jenny Craig and, and Nutrisystem and, and Weight Watchers, why is it that they tend to work while the people are on them? And when people go off of them, they end up going back to where they were or even worse. And, and the, the part of it that I think is relevant here is that, that that support system that's provided helps disconnect this pressure to settle for less so that one doesn't settle for less. One continues to pursue the goal, even though it, it not likely to take much less time it's the support system that helps disconnect this pressure to settle for less so um, I would encourage you to go ahead and access this model and go ahead and change the the values of the desired state and the current state but more importantly is to go ahead and change the value of the percentage change factor and the goal change factor and also change the simulation time step from 1 to 0.5 to 0.25 to 0.125 and see what kind of an impact it has on the behavior of the structure. It, the, with all, as with all of the structures, one gets a better sense of the behavior of the structure from interacting with it. So hope you found this beneficial and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye.